They say that not long before the catastrophe struck, people all over the world began to find strange things. This organization studied how this unknown radiation caused living organisms to mutate. And of course, the first thing that they did was think up a name for the particles and for the radiation itself, NDP radiation. All I remember is multicolored rays appearing in the sky. Then everything suddenly went dark. I heard heavy peals of thunder. The heaviest I've ever heard. The wind. Hello everyone and welcome to the MGM channel. I'm your host Cornish. Today we're going to be talking about an absolute gem of a game and that is a survival MMO based called Will to Live Online. Will to Live Online is an MMO RPG first person shooter survival. Big words I must say. Uh, it takes place in a severe apocalyptic world. Um, before I can get more into the video, I gotta say this game has a lot of Stalker vibes, which is fantastic because Stalker is a good series and I like the Stalker series and for this game to be almost like Stalker, I like it. But uh, it's not the stalker storyline. In fact, uh, the back, the small background story here is uh, everyone used this radioactive material that they called NDP for future technology working projects from teleporters to healing. And one day it just went bad. However, just like the stalker and teddy bear's picnic story, where the S zone is getting bigger. It's kind of like that in the world. The, like I said, everything revolves around NDB's radiation. Yeah, it's got a lot of background story to tell in this game with all the equipment and all the technology you see around in the game. Let's talk about your character itself. You wake up in the hospital of the city. I uh, can't remember who you are. And the first thing you'll do is start working for people until you figure out what is actually happening and who you're actually with and what what is your purpose here with that being said let's go to our next topic and let's talk about the mutants the monsters and the crazies you want to be the pro <laughs> the pro oh uh, i have back watch me not get Bella taken the into the darkness i'm the pro oh! what am i missing he's getting pop <laughs> It's getting great. I, oh my god! I'm talking in chat! <laughs> Wait, what is that? With the monsters and mutants, there are all sorts. There are different types of things. There are weird bogs, which are these mutants. Uh, symbiotes, spiders, cave spiders, even bloody rats are the size of your leg. Um, yeah, so you'll be finding and seeing a lot of crazy stuff uh, throughout your journey. Um, there are bo there are some epic boss battles as well, including raid bosses with your clan if you do come across any people. Unfortunately, there's not a lot of normal bosses for a single solo player to take out, but if you want to take out the raid bosses, you can do that pretty much. I, th I believe I've taken out uh, one raid boss before on my own. Took a bit of doing, but we did it. Well, I did it. <laughs> but throughout the world, you'll come across animals and other things. The one thing you've also got to worry about is online players. Now, the cool thing about this 
whole MMO survival thing, it also has an impact of some kind of roleplay, I guess, because everyone can talk in game. No chatting with a keyboard, that's for sure. You can actually talk through uh, voice chat. <laughs> Nicely done, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers for that, bro. <laughs> Mate. Yeah. Uh, why are you so to one of my players? Pardon? Pardon? Why are you so to one of our players? Oh. But that being said, make sure you're alert at all times in the game because you don't know who you're going to come across. You, it, it could either be friendly or it could be dangerous. You don't know that. However, if you want to actually try and talk to someone without getting killed, there are many safe zones around the area, including towns that have this uh, shield dome, which is, of course, made with the NDP uh, that can prevent any monsters or anyone shooting in the area, which is really nice. In some safe zones, there are turrets and guards. So if you decide to try and shoot someone in the uh, safe zone, uh, think again. Or if you even try and shoot someone near the safe zone, definitely think again. All right, so let's say for an example, this person here is an online player who's just crossed over here. Now, as you can see on the bottom, it says PK and uh, a turret symbol, meaning they've got their eyes set on you. If you do shoot them from anywhere near the safe zone, this is what happens. And you will be given a timeout, which is uh, at least 30 seconds. So you cannot move for 30 seconds. Also, your legs are broken for one minute and 30 seconds. So pretty much like a two minute timeout. So try not to kill anyone near the safe zone. Range, so that works. What the f Tufty! What the f Tufty! Oh my god, somebody somebody attacked me named Psycho. And they got immediately shot to death. Wow. Wow. With the PvP element in the game, if you do get shot or if you get killed in the game, you'll lose some of your uh, items which you've picked up and found throughout the game. But if you don't want to have confrontation with other online players, certain servers will have uh, non-PvP only, so you can either have it on or off, even past the level 15, or the official servers that normally have PvP off until you're level 15, then you've got a struggle. So let's talk about the map itself. Oh my god, it's huge. The, the map, the first map you you come across, the main map is massive and there is so much to explore. From deserts, to woods, to swamp, to underground, to bunkers, uh, you name it, everywhere. And there are so many possible areas throughout the map, like the canyons, uh, and uh, you know, the main swamp center. The Dead Forest, the Exclusion Point Island, and also the coast, which is absolutely new in the game. Uh, well, which is the latest new area in the game. And I haven't been there myself yet because you have to be level 35. You have no idea how huge this place is. And there is so much places to explore and scavenge, you know, like finds certain materials. I love it. I, I absolutely love it, and I like uh, I like going out there exploring areas and finding things which could be valuable. So let's get down to the uh, next topic, which would be the factions. There are two factions in the game. There are Confed, and then there are Black Sunset. I'm not going to get into detail with what they are and what they do. You need to discover that yourself by playing the game, because uh, I believe it's got an effect on storyline, and it's your choice to pick. All I know is they're just two separate teams. If you join the if you join the Confed, you ain't allowed to go anywhere near the Black Sunset camp. But if you join the Black Sunset camp, you're not allowed to go anywhere near that city where you started off, which is a bummer uh, because the Black Sunset is just a boring couple of tents. But with the Confed, they have a city with an arcade, food. That's one of them. A bar. Uh, you know, they got the works there, and I'm surprised the developers 
have not yet built like a fort in that desert instead of just four camps. That's just lazy. Come on, that's lazy, that is. But the thing is with the uh, the two clans, if you do see the opposite clan, uh, it's it's full PvP on that one. Um, you won't make enemies because you're already enemies with the other faction. But if you do kill them, you can pick up their dog tags and have that as a reputation increase for the faction. Which is alright, I guess. But now, on to our next thing, the quests. There are so many different quests around the map. Uh, loads of different NPCs to interact and deal with missions to get either some cool rewards and also some progress for the story. Now we'll get into the class itself. There are four classes you can take. There are mercenary, uh, hunter, engineer, and miner. The mercenary is just an all-out soldier. Hunters are very PvP. Snipers, of course. Um, you can see enemies on the mini-map, which is even better, I guess. The engineers can carry some pretty cool stuff, such as claymores, spawn beacons. So if you're doing a raid fight, you can plant a spawn beacon down and whoever dies can get back into the spawn beacon. Uh, healing grenades, healing energy shields, bubble shields. Um, it may sound cool uh, that the, uh, um, the engineers got. That may sound cool, however, the downside is they're on low health and their main weapon is the um, submachine gun. Don't get me wrong, it's a cool little weapon because I'm, I'm an engineer in one of the places, but the health is the one you've got to worry about. Now, the miners itself are literal walking tanks. They can carry, they're the only class that can carry a heavy armor, which is cool. Um, when I said walking tank, they, if you try and shoot them from far, you can probably do that. But when you get close to them, just run. Just run away as far as you can. Because if they have that shotgun, uh, yeah, they're going to be unstoppable if they're close range. The thing is, with each class you've decided to pick, will have their little bonus perks. So, mercenaries, machine guns, they do better crit hits with that. Um, hunters, crit hits with the sniper. If you're on a high level uh, sniper class, you're literally going to be one hitting people. Engineers, you know, as I said, submachine guns, um, their equipment, and then the miners can carry the heavy ammo, uh, but their mains are shotguns and explosives. I think that goes for engineers as well. Don't quote me on that. Now let's talk about the faults and the bad things in the game. Um, for a start, I'm going to start off with the faction, because every time I've joined a faction, the game just gets miserable for me. Um, I don't like it. I don't like to have to worry about every single detail of the faction needs. And There's this uh, place up in the canyon where you have to defend uh, the, the four areas and cl or claim them. And that just gets really tedious. Uh, once you get to the canyons, it just goes to hell for the game, I personally think. I did ask about if there's any more solo missions coming soon, because from what I've heard, it's 60% done uh, for the main quest. The game is literal, you know, there, but the all the quests and all the stuff they're adding in is 60% done. Um, they did reach out and said we'd definitely be adding more quests, so that's that's good. And as I said, once you join a faction, it just goes from hell on there. Uh, it, I, a per that's my thought. If, you, if you're a person that can be in a group or massive group and you join a faction, then that's fine. But as for a solo person who just wants to explore the lands and find cool stuff, um, you know, I, I'm, I'm really hoping they would add all more quests in for them. Another complaint uh, I will say is the anti-cheats. The developers really need to focus on their anti-cheat right now uh, because every single comment I've seen people have kicked off because they haven't been looking into the report system very well nor their, you know, uh, again, their anti-cheat because there, there has, I have witnessed quite a few cheaters in the game and it, it's just, uh, that's just a, like, you know, a game-breaking thing for me. I don't like that. But with that being said, the game itself is absolutely brilliant. I like the game. There are some there's some high notes and some down notes to the game, and that is fair. That's very fair. I don't want to go, oh, it's really, really good, or, oh, it's really, really, really bad, because there are some good and there's some bad into the game. And that's a, that's a fair thought. 
But I will say I can't get too much in detail with the story and the uh, the lore because there's a lot to go in for when you start the game. There's a lot of reading as well. And of course there is a lot of farming. And I'm going to make a guide on how to level up quicker soon. I'm going to do that at some point because it's a long process which I've got to try and shorten down. And that is my review for Will to Live Online. Guys, go and check it out. It's free. Honestly, once you get through all the tutorial stuff and then you go out in your own little world and you get to explore, it's good fun. It really is. And scavenging, fighting new bosses, meeting new people, it's it's good fun. It's great. And I love talking to people because there are some funny dialogues of what people come up with on that game. Yes, the, the oh, stupid shit. crabs kill us many times. <laughs> <laughs> No worries, dude. Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> Boys, I am so proud of you all. <laughs> Alright, we, we're going to have to depart, boys. Uh, it was, it's been a pleasure um, helping you guys out. <laughs> yeah, thank you, no problem. Oh, no worries, dude. Yeah, that's alright, you guys take care oh. and good luck out there. So download the game now. I'm normally hanging around in Europe too, so if you do want to come and say hi, I'm around. And I am always there helping people out because I like doing that in a game. Again, when I said the whole role-playing thing, I tend to help a lot of people out get started, really. Um, or, or even give them money in-game because, you know, it's a nice thing to do. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We have a Discord. Don't forget to join the Discord. Feel free to at me, Big C, or anyone who's doing the videos or any of the uh, the crew to talk about um, reviews and games discussion. We're always there. We're always happy to reply. And yeah, that's that's it. And that is Cornish signing out. You guys take care and have a wonderful day. I'm on a winning streak. Do you want to know how I got all this money? How? Gambling. All right, follow me then. Come on, Jordan. What's up? <laughs> I'm gonna take this person in the back and shoot him in the back of the head. <laughs> <laughs>